A festival that celebrates the history of a northeast Mississippi town while allowing people to enjoy music, food, and even get a jump on Christmas shopping is in full swing. Our Allie Martin has more from the Bruce Sawmill Festival. Members of the St. Luke Masonic Lodge were working hard to keep up with the demand for grilled burgers. They set up every year on the square at the Bruce Sawmill Festival. I, mean, I just love the atmosphere. I love to be out here cooking. I love to um, cook outside anyway. And um, I just love to meet new people and people from all different counties. The festival began 29 years ago when all of the civic groups in the area decided to have one big event, split the profits, and help the community throughout the year. There is music on the gazebo and vendors selling a variety of goods. We're selling uh, t-shirts, hats, bracelets, stuff to raise money for our football team this year. So uh, we can get new stuff. Gets our product out to different clientele. With the moisture mix, uh, you can put it on your hair and it's give this real flowy, it's extensions. It's giving it a real flowy, wet looking, just like you come out of the shower. Along with the vendors, food and music, there's also a portable working sawmill that guests can see. After all, the sawmill and lumber industry is the industry that built Bruce. The town was founded by E.L. Bruce Company Hardwood, Hardwood out of Memphis, and that's where the town name Bruce come from. Uh, that hardwood factory shut down years ago. Of course, warehouses come in before that. Now warehouses are major, takes all that property land over there and is a major uh, contributor in our town and a major industry. The Sawmill Festival runs through Saturday night. In Bruce, Allie Martin, WCBI News. And there is a 5K Saturday morning, political speeches throughout the day, and many more activities. You can get more information on our website, WCBI.com.